season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. Come on. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. I'm the consummate bargain shopper. Anything, if, if I can buy something for 50 cents, it's supposed to be $8. I'll okay. buy 25 of them. Okay, let me, let me ask. Okay, I got a consummate bargain shopper. Is that not does right? It, no, that's right. Oh, okay, got that's, it. No, you're fine. Okay. Does that mean, it, does, does, when you say value, does it matter if it works for you or will you make it work for you? It's, like, um, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it's a quarter, so I'll take 20. No, you know, <laughs> or, no, because half the fun is the hunt. Like if you're looking for uh-huh. something specific, you're not going to make it, make something that kind of work. Mm-hmm. You just so keep you look until you find it. Will you buy something because it's a bargain? Yes. And that's what I, that, that leads <laughs> so me into this. you need it. Well, okay. This, you weren't that, looking for that it. That leads me into my story. I wasn't <laughs> looking for it, but I do, we all need it. And it's this right in front of me. It is this hand sanitizer that I found. I was at Walmart two mornings ago and they had, and I was there early. I was there like when they opened, like at 6.15 and I'm walking in and there's a cart right in front. It's got, it says uh, hand sanitizer, 50 cents. And there's, and this is a 16 ounce yeah. bottle of hand sanitizer. It's 50 cents. It's, it's called there, kills germs. Kills germs. <laughs> la, That's pretty la, straightforward. La Rose kills germs. Okay. And then they had big jugs, squirt jugs yeah. of like name brand aloe. Also uh, 50 cents. Yeah. So, I'm, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's legit. It's the Purell. It was Purell brand. So I bought one of those and I bought a couple of these for the office. <laughs> and then I, uh, I opened them. And first of all, it's like liquid. It's not like typical hand sanitizing like gel. Water. Yeah. And it actually smells like water. And I'm thinking, no wonder it's 50 cents. I can't, there is no way. What does it say it's made of? What's on the ingredient? Ditch water, probably. <laughs> uh, it says ingredients, uh, active. Oh, it says Inactive ingredients. Are there any active ones? Yes. Uh, uh, ben, Benzaclibida chloride, 0.1%. Antimicrobial. That's point, it. Point 0.1%? Yep. Used for hand sanitizing to decrease bacteria on the skin. Recommended for repeat use. And this is, uh, it supposedly does, it's no alcohol, really, so it won't dry your skin out. Inactive ingredients, water, which is a lot of it. But I want you to smell this <laughs> because it literally smells like water. Okay, hold on. Smell it. I smell, it, it does, it's got a slight, there's a slight well, hint of there's something. There's something, well, and that's, but you know, when mm. you put something on, just like with mouthwash, mm-hmm. I like to feel the burn. I like to feel the Bernie Sanders in my mouth. Oh my God. Because it makes it feel like it's working. <laughs> when I put the alcohol, the Purell on my hands, I feel it. It feels like it's working. This feels right. like I literally put my hand under a faucet. So I'm like, is this really, a, is it really? I can't use that stuff. And I'd be interested to try because it burns. This is my, alcohol my, free. I know. Want to try it on just a pinky? <gasps> try um, it on a pinky. It says it will not stain. So you can squirt it all over the floor. Okay. Try it. <laughs> and it was only 50 okay. cents. Okay, come here. Let me. I'll try it real quick on my hands and see. Because my hands are basically okay. healed up go. right now. But Okay, you want me some, to put it on there? Yeah, right there. That's enough. Okay. Okay, so we'll see. So we'll see if this works. If it's this gonna be burns, endorsement for kills germs. It says no alcohol, so it shouldn't shouldn't burn. Shouldn't. But then it may not be uh, killing a killing a. It might be doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> it might be a haven for your bacteria. Uh-huh. It does not burn. It's FDA compliant. There's an American flag on it, so it's made in the United <laughs> States. Leaves hands soft. So I don't know. Anyway, we'll it's fifty cents, and we're loaded here at the office for we'll like see. three bucks. We good so far? So far, it doesn't burn. Okay. So so yeah, that's where you start going. Is this working? Right. Because I'm the same way with mouthwash. Um, crazy, <laughs> very particular. It has to have the ADA symbol on it. Okay. Not all. Yeah. Like I look some brands do mm-hmm. and some brands have various flavors Yeah, and not all of them have the symbol on it. Okay. Some do. The ones that do, that's the one I use. Burner. So, and you like the burn. So you can feel it working. You, you just know it is. Funny thing too, is that mouthwash, they said, kills the, the virus. I've heard that. Mm-hmm. I've heard that. So using mouthwash and washing your hands, your hands are clean and smell good and your breath smells good and you kill the virus. So it's a win, win, win. Win, win, win. Win, win, So win. yes. So using the mouthwash. So yes, been using the mouthwash. So okay, that's good. more so even though, because it was just once a day. Now it's twice. <laughs> I just, I'm just suspect when you try things that don't feel like they're working or don't smell like, like if they had bleach that didn't have smell like bleach. Yeah. It wouldn't, I wouldn't get like, it. Is that really going to clean anything? You, you feel satisfied when you walk in, well, you smell the bleach. Like walking into a restaurant. If it doesn't, sm- you know, you're smelling the food. Maybe. Right. He's like, yeah, if you walk it- in and it doesn't smell like anything and it's a bakery, it's like, mm-hmm. what are you guys doing wrong here? Right. You just drive by yeah. Rotel's and you smell for two blocks away and you smell Oh it. my God. I dropped Jack off today. 
I hate when I say that. Um, anyway, <laughs> it was a daycare, and his daycare is right next to a Runza, and they were just firing things up this morning. Yeah. I haven't had, but I could smell the onion rings. I had frings on our road trip. I haven't had onion rings from Runza for five years, and I got emotional. It was so good. It's They're amazing. I, I can't say that anymore, because remember, I tried them about a month ago. Yeah. They're still amazing. It it's tasted, just your taste has changed. My tastes have changed. They smell. It's still the smell was just like it. It instantly triggered a, a reaction. Just talking I'm about like, it makes me. And I was oh. so. It didn't taste like I remembered them tasting like, but it smells exactly the same. But it did. It caught me this morning because I was like, oh. My in, God. in Bennett's culinary class, his senior level class, they are now doing their uh, re-engineering or reverse engineering some recipes, and they made runzas yesterday in mm. class. Mm. Made the dough, made the everything inside. I haven't tried it yet. They're sitting in the fridge, but he said they're really good. So I'm excited to try them. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. I wouldn't mind. I think most. Ask him what all is in the runza. Ask it, really? get, get the you ingredients. Say, I want the list of ingredients. Okay, I'll get that. I will get that. I him. think I can I think I can have that. Even with the bread? No. Okay. The the stuffing. Just the stuffing. The I good think stuff. I can because you it's mostly can. meat. Some some cabbage. cabbage. Maybe a little bit of cabbage. Onions. Yeah, you can have all that stuff. Maybe some of that stuff. Because I have done that where I've got, a, I did get a runs and I just scooped out the middle and it's such a waste of money because there's to, not a lot in the middle. We need to stop you talking. really just starving. pay for a big True, bun. but that bread is so good. <laughs> there isn't, there isn't much is. in there. there. There is quite a bit yeah. in it. I don't know if they still have the Italian one with the pepperoni and uh, it's like a pizza inside. There was a lot in there. I don't know if they still have that anymore. That I, was good. I wonder what they, if they would give me just a scoop of it. They said that there's Probably. there's like the secret menus at some of their drive throughs and one of the suggestions if you're in a pinch um, keto wise or, or low carb, no carb, whatever is McDonald's. Um, Oh, what am I trying to say? They're enchiladas, the morning breakfast enchiladas, or breakfast, breakfast burritos, burritos. Mm -hmm. breakfast burritos. You can get them without the burrito. So it's just a, just the inside. And That's they use perfect. a ham, like the hamburger uh, box mm -hmm. and they just scoop in and there it is. And you're ready That's to go. That's great. I haven't tried it yet. Um, Even people that are cutting calories, each tortilla is like 110 calories. That's what I just, I want to get the stuff without the bun, but then they'll do that without blinking an eye. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried the burrito and I haven't tried Runza yet. I, I don't know. I've done Runza for the burger with no bun, didn't blink an eye. And they have even a special container for it. it I bet they have crazy. it for all their stuff. They so probably I, went and looked at all that stuff. If and, I can go to Runza and get just the mm -hmm. stuffing. <sighs> bomb. That would bomb be diggity. Awesome. Um, uh, what else? Transition got? to an email real quick with the yeah. subject line anal swab. <laughs> uh, this is a follow up from Lori who sent us the email yesterday. That played a prank on her husband yes. about getting the anal swab test. She goes, Hey guys. Uh, well, a little follow up on the anal swab story. <laughs> husband said, uh, I'm he's going to, this isn't flagged by the government. Isn't it great? Right? <laughs> yeah. Husband said, um, he's gonna have to find a new doctor. Said he wasn't able to show his face in the office again. I felt bad. <laughs> I guess I kind of wrecked him <laughs> with the anal joke. I uh, hope you guys have a very blessed day. Yeah, that's awesome, Lori. You know what? He's a big boy. He can get over it. And he should. It, and he made the nurse's day by that. So he shouldn't feel bad about it. That's he made them happy. Because that's went, super. Okay. And it's not him anyway. It was, his, it was you that did it, Lori. When he went in, do we know that he got to co have a conversation with whoever took his phone call? Or I when, don't know. Was he, it when he went in? Yeah, because she would have set him straight. He didn't go in. He He's, did not go he, in nope, for he a He said period? he wasn't going to show his face in the office again. He's too embarrassed. So he hasn't even had his swab yet? No. Nope. <laughs> so you know what, Lori? You know what the next step is? <laughs> is that Walgreens now has the at-home anal swab. So see go. if he wants Nurse Lori to administer <laughs> that 15-second <laughs> anal swab. I'd say probably not. Probably not. Um, I was going to say, too, had a reaction from uh, our friends, uh, Laura and Joe that we called out the other day mm -hmm. and I saw a little exchange that went on said it was really funny um, because she, she let Laura know that she needed to be listening to the episode okay. yesterday. And so she told Joe that and then said, uh, Joe enjoyed it. Said he would have guessed it was from who it was from the story. I shouldn't have even told him to have a heads up. That's about it funny. Down, Cause he listens every day. So <laughs> Joe, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, one other thing I know I've got is, um, uh, our Hollywood Raw podcast on our network came out this week. And it was this one, right, that had dog face on, mm -hmm. right? And that Nathan Apodaca, Apodaca yes. um, also known as 420 Dog Face 208. And you've probably seen the video of him on his skateboard with a jug of Cran Raspberry Juice, Fleetwood Max Dreams, and then TikTok went crazy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see this part. Well, a couple things. First off, and I know that they've got him on the the interview. He seems he's hilarious. He's a very funny dude. Um, and super sweet that he ended up getting a new truck 
out of the deal, and that was from Ocean Spray. Um, but also, uh, he had done that. Literally, he was just he was going to work, and he just because his truck broke down. And Isn't he that fun? Jumped on and just you play. You can down. plan and plan and plan and plan this stuff. Yeah. It never works out, but you just do that, and then you get a new That's truck. So he's going down the on ramp or off <laughs> so ramp or funny. whatever, and he just happened to be video, and it has dreams playing in the background. Which, by the way, dreams landed on the. Um, I think it ended up in the top 100 singles chart, number 21. After his video went crazy, that's huge. Dreams from 1977 ends up, <laughs> and so think what of all happens? the money uh, and all the money that Ocean Spray made on that, all the money that TikTok Exposure. has made on that. I mean, a hundred. So a new truck, that's nothing he for got, them. Exactly. And the fun part is, is not only millions of people re- replicating it. Mick Fleetwood replicated it, which I thought was really cool. And um, he actually told him, he said, "We owe you." For what he what he did for their song, which I thought that was funny, and his version was really funny. Tom Hayes, who's the Ocean Spray CEO, also did it, and he was his handle or at the bottom of his uh, when he posted, it just said, "Did we just become best friends?" That's awesome, <laughs> which is awesome. And then Cheech and Chong did it, <laughs> and <laughs> said, "Sorry, we're late to the party. Uh, you forgot to pick us up in that new truck, man." <laughs> and he responded in the comments and just, yo, so legendary. He's all excited because he got a shout out, For right? Sure. Then they replied back to him, yo, man, we've been passing you, but we've been passing around positive vibes like a joint at a Cheech and Chong concert. <laughs> <laughs> just hilarious. And then finally, Stevie Nicks did it. That's huge. Stevie Nicks, she didn't actually do the skateboard, but it showed her singing along with dreams while she was lacing up a pair of roller skates. She was sitting on a piano bench and there was a, Thing, a jug of cranberry juice next to her foot and says afternoon vibe lace him up and that, yeah that's funny okay so the, the that's guy, awesome the guys from fleetwood mac said we owe you yeah okay so that's a good thing because in the interview yes. uh dax and adam were really pushing for fleetwood mac to play the, at dog face's wedding which is coming up and that's something that they've been pushing for and it's starting to get some traction online so that would be awesome if they end because they oh, do owe them they, they need, owe them especially they i didn't cash. know the charts thing that's that's they made some serious cash on there they get there and play cash. a couple songs yeah. at the wedding reception that would be huge i think they need to put that in an, an at mick fleetwood Stevie Nicks, also Cheech and Chong and Tom Hayes. Have them all there. Get them all added and get them all on board and uh, make that happen. That because, would be awesome. Yeah, he saw, or they saw, a huge response. This was back in September when this happened, September 15th. And he didn't, seriously, just filmed it after my car broke down on the way to work. Which is hilarious. And now look at it, he's completely flipped his life upside down. <laughs> so pretty cool. I just thought it was neat. If you get a chance to listen to the podcast. Uh, we'll put a link the podcast in Or watch too. the podcast. We have the video up there too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I I post, I think I did, I reposted it on Facebook, but I just want, it's just a neat everyday average guy and look what happened. Right. It's It's awesome. cool. Yeah. So just think when you think you're doing something stupid, video it, you might get a new truck. You never know. You have, or Fleetwood Mac play it, whatever. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) At your Christmas party. Get a a shout out from Cheech and Chong. And that doesn't happen very often, right? (laughs) It's Pat and JT, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, 402-403-9478. Or like Laura, you can email us, hey at patandjt.com. And click in the link to listen to the Hollywood Raw podcast episode. Thanks for listening. Pat and JT podcast, a Huda Media production.